Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know about Stellar Blade and the controversy that has surrounded it. It's an action RPG. It's exactly what it sounds like. Case in point, that's what it is. But there has been a lot of controversy around the game. And the controversy involves our main character, Eve. And whether or not she is over-sexualized or a perfect amount of this and that. But I think that everybody is having very interesting and almost extreme opinions on what's happening with Stellar Blade. So I wanted to jump into it. Now, if you know anything about me, if you've ever seen anything that I've done before, you know that I tend to have opinions that are uh, like way out there, hot takes, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, I, you know, who knows? You may agree with me, you might not. But at the end of the day, that's okay. I just wanted to give my opinion um, because it has been a, a topic of controversy here over the last little bit. I wanted to give my opinion and let you know my thoughts. So the, the, big, the big focus here, right, has been Eve and the way that Eve looks, her physical appearance. Now, I've seen the skins in the game. I've seen the main character. She is modeled off of a Korean model. Um, and then the skins in the game have been shown to be somewhat revealing. On top of that, they've got jiggle, jiggle physics and things like that for her breast region, her, her butt, things like that, where it, it jiggles to an extreme, right? And I think I speak for everybody by saying, whether no matter who you are watching this video, we like boobs, okay? We do. It's just, it, it's, it's a part of being a human being. It's something you're naturally attracted to, right? And that's all well and good. But I do think that there can be a line that's crossed in video games. And I think it can go both ways. For Stellar Blade, you've got a character, and, and I'll just kind of show you some images of, of Eve from Stellar Blade here. So for Stellar Blade, you've got a character like Eve who has a whole bunch of different outfits, right? And as you can see, you know, they range from revealing to not revealing or things like this. But then you've got ones like this where she's wearing almost like a parka and she's fully covered up. But needless to say, it's an attractive video game character with all of these elements there. Now, on one side, you've got people who are really upset about this because uh, they feel it disrespects women. They feel it disrespects females the female's body they, they feel it disrespects a woman's body things like that because they're showing so much and they're doing this ultimately they believe to please uh, a male audience or or to please people on the internet the where that's like that's their bread and butter that's what they live for right and then on the other side you've got people who are excited and pushing the fact that they are revealing so much of this character's body in the video game and think it's a great thing and think it is some statement about uh, censorship in video games or a statement about uh, female characters looking like women, looking feminine in their proportions and everything else, right? So you've got the two sides of the argument, right? And I think what I've seen a lack of is people squarely in the middle of the discussion here because I think there is some validity to both points, but people are often getting lost in the in the back and forth of one extreme and the other extreme. So I kind of wanted to give my take on the whole situation. With, with Eve, with the main character of this game, I think that it all comes to a point of moderation, right? And some video games, more recently rather than not, we have had um, women or, or female characters in these video games that haven't looked very feminine, right? They've looked a little bit masculine in their in their appearance and things like that. And I get that not not uh, you know not everybody has a soft face and not everybody has you know a, a very manicured appearance and and that's okay, right? Those things are fine. But I think what's what has happened is there's there's a problem where female characters have have gotten to a point where they want to make them men almost and then on the other side you've got something like stellar blade where it, it takes that femininity of the character their 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 shape everything and it just kind of like it puts it all up in there all up there in your face right and i think that i think both of these things can be damaging right because at the same point you want to portray women as the um as the people that they are with the bodies that they have and, and portray them as, as the beautiful and wonderful thing that they are. The other point, you also want to be respectful of 
the women that you're portraying in these ways. I think there's there's a certain balance that needs to be had there. It's like, yes, we all love boobs, right? We all love butts. We love these things. And I, I think I can speak for everybody when I say that. But at the same point, you know, there there does come some issues when you start to treat the woman in the video game or the movie or whatever it is as just object, like an object, just an object. And she loses everything that made her a woman in the first place, right? Because you're not seeing those things. You're not seeing uh, the beauty in all the other areas. You're just seeing the physical appearance. And then you got the other side where you take away, you strip back all of the physical appearance and uh, you make the woman look more masculine, um, less feminine, things like that. But there is a very, there is a real beauty in a female character that both looks, you know, physically attractive, but at the same point has all of these other elements there. And that's what makes a well-rounded character, right? Um, is, is not just the physical appearance, but you've got the other part there too, right? You've got the, you've got a mixture of both things. So I think with Cellar Blade, what's happened is people have, have gotten upset on, or frustrated or whatever. They've blown this out of proportion on both sides. And it's, it's proven to be, become a little bit of a tired, uh, argument and or uh, debate topic, things like that. So really, ultimately, my goal with this video is just to to say my piece about how I think that at the end of the day, we should, we should be striving for in entertainment, whether it be video games, movies, etc., is portraying our female characters with the respect that they deserve, but also not being afraid to make them attractive and to make them, um, you know, even even you know even making them sexy every once in a while is is fine. That's that's fine, right? But not be afraid to make them attractive, but also not be afraid to have them embrace femininity in all its shapes, as opposed to just um, one thing and not the rest of them. And I did just want to point out uh, these other things I'm referring to, and I, I apologize, I didn't really explain that earlier when I was talking or rambling rather. Uh, but the other things, instead of just the attractiveness, is we have to make our women in video games and movies, our female characters, we have to make them well-rounded. We have to make them likable. Uh, we have to have, make them have something that, uh, that drives them. We have to have that internal element that's not just external, right? That internal beauty um, of that character that shines through as well. So the physical appearance, it's all great, but that internal stuff is what really matters at the end of the day. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it is true, right? We want our characters to have heart. We want them to have a good heart. We want them to be kind, to be gracious, to be thoughtful, um, to be morally upstanding, things like that. At the end of the day, that's what we want for our main characters on top of looking nice and looking good. So hopefully that makes sense. So with with Stellar Blade, like I said, it is it is something that's been controversial. I mean, let's take a look at some of these videos on YouTube. New Stellar Blade controversy is out of control. A backlash makes free Stellar Blade trend on X. Did I, Gina, know Kotaku conspire to get St Stellar Blade censored? Stellar Blade is awesome. There's controversy around Stellar Blade. We got to talk about the Stellar Blade censorship. Stellar Blade exposes hypocrisy in video games, right? So we've got all these people with all their various different opinions, I think, on both sides of the aisle here on whatever way they believe, whether they think that it's okay or great to show hypersexualized women in video games, or they think that everything's hypersexualized and, and they want to tone it down to a bare minimum. Either way, you've got a bunch of opinions and a bunch of things out there. So... So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear what you all have to say, whether it be one side or another or just in the middle. Um, I'm always open to hearing different opinions, different perspectives, and I love to hear it from people. Let me know down there. And if you did like this video, feel free to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I am starting off here. I'm just trying to get a feel and get a flow of what works and what doesn't. So let me know if you have any tips or pointers in the comments as well. With that being said, I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. And if you made it this far, have a great rest of your day. Take care. Peace out. We'll talk to you next time. Later, guys.